Hey guys, so today I thought that I'll do a little kind of experiment, um, if that's what you want to call it. Um, I'm having issues with my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, um, having issues with the camera specifically, so I've got extra warranty for it um, from JB Hi-Fi. So if you're not in Australia watching this video, this may not apply to you at all. But um, I have extra warranty with them and I want to see what the process is with getting my phone fixed. Um, if they're going to fix it, if they're going to replace it, whatnot. If they're going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, we're going to see. Uh, I think currently they're actually being sued for their for selling warranty that people don't need. I don't know if that's true or not. I've just seen on Facebook that they are being sued, but this has nothing to do with that. I paid extra warranty for the phone. Um, it has maybe six months left on it, so I've had it for two and a half years. I have three years warranty all up. So I do have about five, six months left, uh, somewhere around that. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna take you through the processes that they give me um, you know so far I've gone to the store and I've you know said to them hey look my camera's not working properly how do I go about getting it fixed and they've given me a number to call so I am gonna call that number and see what they say um, I believe that that number has to do with their warranty people I guess so I guess they don't deal with warranty in the store you have to call a number so already um, that's different to the process that I've gone through at different stores like Harvey Norman um, I, I had to return a laptop once there uh, that was faulty and they dealt with everything in store um, they even had guys there to test I guess test the um the laptop out uh but i guess jb hi-fi doesn't have that so uh, i have to send it away to be fixed i guess um and i guess they're gonna um you know go through see what's wrong with it and if they can fix it they'll fix it if they can't i don't know what they're gonna do uh, i'm getting ahead of myself but i haven't got to that yet so they give me a number to call i'm gonna call that number I'm also going to call Samsung directly and um and yeah see what they say because uh, I just want to see um, if anyone else is experiencing the same issues that I'm having um, so yeah I'll get into the issues that I'm having now um, so the issues I'm having is with the back camera uh, more specifically the 1x lens so I can use the ultra wide lens, everything's sharp. I can use the zoom in lens, sharp. My 1X lens, blurry. Um, it just, it will only focus in on stuff that's pretty close, pretty close up. Anything with a little bit of distance, no matter how much I tap on the screen to try and get it to focus in, it won't focus. I don't know why. Um, and that's the same with the camera app that's built into the phone. It's the same with any other app that has camera features. It's just blurry. So pretty sure it's a hardware issue. Um, but I'm going to contact Samsung in a minute and get them. I know that they can do a remote access and go through my settings and stuff um, just to make sure that you can't fix it. Uh, just by changing some settings. I've already tried that, but I'll just do it anyway. I'll call them and see what they say. So I'll call them now and then I'll record another video of what they say and then I'll call the JB Hi-Fi number that they gave me for the warranty and I'll see what they say. So I'll be back to you in a minute. Hey guys, me again. <laughs> So I just got off the phone with Samsung. Um, they were actually really, really good to deal with. Um, I didn't think that they were gonna be this good, but they 
told me that um, there's a store in Chermside that does repairs if it does need to be repaired. Uh, so hopefully I can take it there and get it repaired. But um, they did a remote access of my phone. They went through all the settings just to make sure that, you know, there was no settings going wrong. Um, they also did a reset of the camera app and nothing fixed it. So they've um, they've actually sent, sent off that information to their tech team um, and they've also checked to see if anyone else is experiencing this issue and I'm the only one that's experiencing this issue. So I uh, should hear from their tech team uh, very shortly and yeah they'll they'll basically tell me if it's a software issue or if it's a hardware issue and um and yeah so i'll wait for them to give me a, a call or a email back and see what they say and then i'll go ahead and call the jb hi-fi number and see how i go about getting my phone fixed so i'll get back to you in a sec Okay, so I've heard back from the Samsung team, their their tech team, and they are pretty sure that it is a hardware issue, not a software issue. So um, they're pretty sure that it's going to have to go in and get most likely a new camera installed into the phone, because uh, obviously something isn't working correctly in the camera itself. Um, so I'll take that information into account and I'll see what the JB Hi-Fi team says, um, how they're going to go about fixing it. They did say that there is a store in Brisbane, so, um, you know, not too far away from where I live. So hopefully JB Hi-Fi can just, I can take the phone there to be fixed. Um, hopefully this is going to be a fast, a fast fix, I guess, because um, you know who wants to not have a phone for a long time. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get it sent there, or just take it there, either way. But we'll see. I'll call them. I'll call the JB Hi-Fi team now and see what they say. Okay, so I just got off the phone with JB Hi-Fi, um, their warranty team. And long story short, I have to send the phone away to, I guess, be fixed. Um, I'm going to be contacted shortly uh, by email of the, I guess, the company or whoever is going to be fixing the phone. Um, and they're going to give me the information of, I guess, how long it's going to take, where I need to send the phone to. Hopefully it's not going to take long and be a lengthy process. Um, I did try and say, look, there's a, there's a store not very far from me. And it, you know, Samsung said it can go there. They, they didn't want to hear anything about that. I guess they just want to send it to whoever they send their stuff to, to be fixed. Um, but yeah, I'll see who that is and how, what the process is going to be. And I'll get back to you on that. Okay guys, so I just received an email from the place that would be fixing the phone um, and it had all the information to send it to them uh, but it also had in the email the name of the company so I thought I'd just do a quick uh, Google search of that company and it came up with Brisbane so um, I thought I'd just call that store and ask if I could just bring the phone directly in instead of mailing them the phone and I gave them a call and they said yes uh, they, they were actually really nice about it they said you don't need to book it in at all if you bring it into the store just bring it in uh, bring it in with your receipt and they would assess the phone first obviously see what's wrong with it and then they'll go about ordering whatever parts it would need. Uh, it would most likely need a, some something to do with the camera. Um, but yeah, 
Um, they said it will usually about five days, I recall they said, um, to order in a part is usually around that time uh, and a, a few hours to assess the phone. So all up, it should only take a week, a week and a half to get my phone back. Um, so that's a much quicker process, me just driving it down to the store and doing that instead of mailing it to them, you know, waiting for the mail to actually get to them. They receive it, do what they do, and then they send it back. You know, that's just more time wasted. Um, it'd be nice if there was a store near me to fix it, but um, fortunately there's not. Uh, Brisbane is the closest one. So I'm going to have to just drive it down there and, um, yeah, just get it fixed there. So um, that's, I guess it's almost the end of this video because I am going to actually um, do a bit after this where the phone's been dropped off slash fixed um, and, you know, tell you guys what the what the um, experience was like with this company. I won't say the company's name right now. I can't even remember it. Um, something works or something like that can't really remember but I will at the end of the video and I'll tell you how they were to deal with um, but on the phone they were really good to deal with much much better than JB Hi-Fi was to deal with JB Hi-Fi kind of seemed like they didn't give a shit um, they just wanted to palm you off to the people that fix it they don't really care um, so you know it is what it is but the experience that I have with JB Hi-Fi so far has been pretty shit <laughs> um, compared to the experience that I had at Harvey Norman with my laptop um, yeah it wasn't wasn't that great but as long as the phone ended up getting fixed uh, is all I care about really because um, I do use that phone for you know taking photos of the kid and you know taking videos um, you know I was actually gonna film a video about the camera that I'm using right now which is a GoPro 10 a Hero 10, whatever they're called, um, about some quick fixes kind of thing that I have had with it. Um, the little screw that tightens down everything that mounts mount stuff onto it. Uh, I've swapped that out with a, a better one that's a little longer because I, I have the media mod on my camera and it the one that comes with it is just too short. So I upgraded that. A few other things that I wanted to show you guys, but I can't film it um, to the quality that I'm onto because the phone isn't working right now. So hopefully, when I get the phone fixed, I can do a video on that. And um, and yeah. So uh, after this, I'll go to uh, when I've dropped it off, how the experiences was, and when I picked it up. So I'll end the video here and. That's it. Hey guys, um, it's a few days later now from the previous video. Um, the previous one was filmed on a Friday. It is now a Monday and I'm about ready to drop the phone off in Brisbane. Um, so yeah, I'll drive down there, drop it off and let you guys know how the experience is with the people that will be repairing the phone. Um, I forget what their name was called, the company. I'll just get that up real quick. Um, so, so, name of the company is called TechWorks in Brisbane. And, yeah, so far when I've gave them a call, they've been pretty good to deal with. Um, so, uh, we'll go in there and drop the phone off and see what they say. And... Yeah, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I've just dropped the phone off. Uh, I'm back now. And the experiences with TechWorks was pretty good. Um, they had two women come out and talk to me. And um, they took the phone, asked what the problem was. I told them what it was. I said I had a uh, warranty with JB Hi-Fi still. Uh, they had a look at the my receipt for it and um, 
they seen that it was the extended warranty, not the manufacturer warranty that it was on, because I've had it for about two and a half years now. Um, so it's got about six months left on its warranty before it's out. And they were a little confused why JB sent me to them. Um, they thought that because it's on the JB warranty now, not manufacturer warranty, that JB should have just replaced the phone instead of sending it to be fixed. But that's just what JB is doing. So, yeah, so they were a little confused on that um, about why I was even there in the first place um, getting it repaired instead of just getting a replacement. But that's just what they, that's what JB wanted to do. So, um, yeah, that's just their process, I guess. But uh, they were good to deal with. Um, they just took down my details and said, they said that they were going to try and um, put the repair through Samsung directly instead of going through whatever the process is with JB because they said that Samsung would be a lot quicker to deal with I'm not sure how they're gonna go with that um, they said they'll let me know how that goes otherwise they'll have to go through the JB process of repairing but regardless they're gonna have to order new parts in and stuff directly from Samsung so um, it's all gonna take a bit of time anyway but in saying that, tech works were good to deal with. Um, and yeah, they said it, it shouldn't take that long to repair. It should maybe be maybe a week before I get my phone back. So I think that's pretty good considering what I was hearing beforehand um, directly from JB that it was going to be around a month. So uh, it was good that I was allowed to actually take the phone into tech works instead of sending it through um, Australian Post because that would have taken a lot longer you know you gotta go to Australian Post send it to them they gotta fix it send it back to you it's just quicker just taking it straight into the store um, but yeah uh, all I gotta do now is just wait for them to contact me with what they're gonna be repairing uh, I'm guessing it's gonna need maybe a whole new camera or at least at least some one of the lenses um, one of them, but yeah, uh, I'll just wait for them to contact me and see what they're going to say and then I'll go down there and pick it up and after I pick it up I'll do another quick update on what the process was picking it up and um, yeah, how long it actually took to get the phone fixed. But yeah, so far so good with TechWorks, um, JB to deal with, not very good, but you know, I'm not really dealing with JB anymore now. I'm dealing with TechWorks, so that's it's a lot better now that, that I'm not dealing with JB. But time will tell. I'll get the phone back, test it out, make sure it's not doing what it's doing. Um, before I sent it away, I actually did a, a couple of um, screen records of what it was doing, and I'll put that at maybe the end or the start or the middle of this video. <laughs> whatever I'll put it in there somewhere so you can see what it was doing and then I'll do another one of when it's fixed so you can see you know difference um, and you just kind of know what I'm talking about with what's wrong with the camera but that's not really what this video is about it's about more the process of dealing with a warranty claim with JB JB Hi-Fi if you live in America everyone in Australia just calls it JB most of the time um, but yeah, what the experience is, is with JB is what this video is about. But it's also turned into what the experience is, is about with TechWorks as well, because they're the ones that are fixing it. So, you know, JB sent me to them to get it fixed, kind of goes together. Um, but so far, so good. TechWorks has been good. Uh, so I'll update you when I get the phone back, and I'll see you.